The Adoptable Pet of the Week is brought to you by Whole Pet Veterinary Center of Westford, delivering compassionate care to your whole pet. Hi guys, Casey at the Lowell Humane Society. Um, today we have Sweet Bean with us, a spayed, neutered uh, ferrets. We have a bonded pair back there, so they will have to go home together. Sorry, he's a little rowdy. They came in 1126. They're very friendly. You can handle them, obviously. Um, they le love their cages. They both have are in the same cage because they're bonded pairs, so they have like toys in there. They like to play with toys, right? and they also love to play with each other. So one's a boy and one's a girl. This is Sweeping the Girl, and we have a boy one as well. So these are the ferrets we have right now um, at the shelter, which were open from Tuesday through Sunday, except for Thursdays, um, for the rest of the year, 12 to 4. Um, our website is lowellhumanesociety.org and um, our phone number is 978-452-7781 uh, and she's just crazy today so <laughs> uh, but she's a good girl they're really good pets they like to snuggle and they like to be with their people um, and she's beautiful she's a sable ferret hi i'm dr corin vickery with whole pet veterinary center do you ever wonder what you would do if your cat or dog ran out the door and you couldn't catch her? How would you get her back? If you did find her, how would you prove that she belonged to you? Luckily, there is a simple solution. Microchipping can be a useful tool in these situations. Microchips provide a unique identification number to your pet. If she's ever lost, this number links her to you. It also helps with travel. Pets traveling internationally often require a microchip. Microchipping is a simple procedure that can be performed at your veterinarians. While we often choose to do this during another procedure like a spay or neuter, anesthesia is not required for microchipping. Thanks for listening. See you next time. You know that was going to happen? Yeah.